This is your main menu and icon display for the robotic total station. The screens on both the robot and the remote are fully functional touch screens. Whatever happens and whatever function happens on the remote happens on the instrument at the same time and vice versa. There's a few different ways to select the options. You can simply use your finger to touch the menu. That mostly works with just the main menu because you have um, bigger icons. You can use the stylus provided with the instrument or the stylus provided with the remote. You can use the arrows or you can simply use the keypad numbers. If we use our finger, we can click on the option, pulls up the next menu, then it gets a little harder to select each menu further, so you probably end up using the stylus or the, one of the other methods. If you use a stylus, you want to do survey for example, click on survey menu, it's going to pull up a survey option, then you can use a stylus to click on the other menus. If you use the arrows, select what you want. If we go into configuration, for example, we're going to hit enter to select. It's going to pull up the configuration menu. Again, we can use the arrows to go further, enter to select, and bring it to the next menu. And escape back to the pre main menu. The next way is going to be to use the keypad numbers. If we want to go into management, for example, which would be number three, we would select three, pull up the management options. To go further, if we want to go into jobs or data, we would hit one for jobs and to pull up our different jobs. And then escape once previous menu, last time to bring it to the main menu. All the icons that you see at the top here, you can click on each one and it'll pull up another menu. If you click on the crosshair, for example, with the stylus, it's going to pull up the menu for automatic tracking, locking modes, distance measurement. In order to go into another icon, however, you have to make sure that you escape out of this menu. The next one, for example, would be this prism. This is the type of prism we're using. Currently, it's set on the Leica 360 prism. If we want to change it to the reflector tape, we can use a stylus or the arrows. Hit F1 to continue. Select continue with the stylus or hit enter. You can see that now the prism has changed to a reflector tape to let you know what you're using click on it again, let's go back to our 360 prism, enter to select, and you can see that it has changed. The next icon I want to bring to your attention is this one right here with the lightning bolt. You want to make sure that lightning bolt is moving through while you're surveying because that's letting you know that the robot is communicating with the remote. And then you have your other icons such as here's your memory card and your battery. Now whatever happens on the instrument, like I said, happens on the remote and vice versa. If you pay attention to the instrument screen, you can see as I use the remote to change the options, the screen will automatically change. If I go into programs, I can select any program. And I'm doing all this currently from the remote. If you take a look at the remote, you can see that the screen is, is identical to what's on the robot. And again, you can use your finger, you can use the arrows numbers or use the stylus. You want to avoid using the stylus as much as possible and get comfortable with using the keypad and the arrows, especially as it gets colder out. You don't want to, you know, risk scratching the screen as it's, you know, the screen's cold. You don't want to risk it. So use the arrows as much as possible or the numbers. 